Hi guys, it's Katie. So today I've been seeing a lot of videos kind of going around YouTube of making your own fidget spinners. These fidget spinners are apparently like super popular now for some reason. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of people make their own. So I decided that I wanted to kind of test this DIY to see how uh, to see how they work, to see if they work. So I actually made a couple out of polymer clay. So they just look like this. Um, we got some nice galaxy on this and this one's gold with some glitter. So I did make these and these are both without using any kind of bearings. Um, usually the center of these have ball bearings and that's what makes them spin. Uh, but I've seen a lot of DIYs around where people weren't using any bearings. So I thought I'd give it a try. So if you guys want to see how I made these, then just keep watching. So you're going to need a cookie cutter, pennies, clay, scissors, a pencil, some pigment is optional, pliers, glue, super glue, clay tools, and blades. So I'm taking pennies because these are the things I'm going to be tracing for the shape of the spinner. You could of course use magnets or weights if you don't want to use money. This is just what I had laying around. So I'm just traced around the pennies and now I'm just kind of finalizing the spinner and this is just kind of to make your own template. You can of course just print a template online. Now I'm just rolling out some black clay. You want it to be kind of thick just so your spinner isn't too flimsy. Now I'm just using one of my templates and I'm pressing it down onto the clay and then I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and I'm going to cut it out. It should look like this. And I'm taking some of the scraps and I'm gonna cut out two circles with my cookie cutter. These are gonna be like the little grips that go on the side of the spinner. And now I'm just gonna smooth out all the edges just so it looks a little nicer and not as like ragged. Now I'm taking the same cookie cutter and I'm going to cut out little circles on the three points of the spinner. This is gonna be where we like your weights are gonna go. I'm gonna put pennies in them. You can of course use whatever weights you guys have, just you need something metal to kinda like weigh it down so it spins. Now this is my mistake. I cut, for some reason I thought I should cut a hole in the center of it, but don't do that. <laughs> uh, so now I'm taking the little circles and I'm pressing my thumb into them just so they kinda have a divot for you to hold onto. And then I'm stacking them on top of each other and I'm taking my needle tool and I'm going to poke a hole into the center. Stacking them just helps to make sure that both of them are lined up. Now I'm going to poke a hole through the other side. Make sure it's big enough to fit a paper clip through. It should look like that. Now I'm taking a thinner sheet of clay and I'm going to cut out three circles with my cookie cutter. And I'm taking those circles and I'm pressing them into the holes that I cut into the spinner and pressing them down. These are just going to create the little backs. Uh, I'm taking a tool just to smooth them out. And you're just going to do that to all three of them. And now I'm flipping it over and I'm smoothing out the back as well. And your thing should look like this. Now I'm going to take my Pearlux pigment. And this is optional. You can paint these if you want or just keep them the color of whatever clay you use. But I wanted to create like a galaxy theme. So I'm just taking some purples, greens, gold, silvers. And I'm just uh, brushing them over the clay. So now they should look like this. I made a gold one and that one I just poked a hole in the center. Um, but now you're going to want to take these and you're going to want to bake it according to your instructions. 
So once they're baked and they're hard, you're going to want to take your super glue and put a little dab into the little holes and you're going to want to put your pennies, your magnets, your weights, whatever you have in those spaces. Just make sure you cut them so they're big enough. So now you just let those dry. Now you're going to want to take some Elmer's glue, Mod Podge, just some kind of glue that will dry clear and you're going to put those over top of where you put your weights. And then I'm just sprinkling some glitter on there just so we don't see the pennies and they look kind of ugly. We're just trying to make it a little bit prettier. So now I'm just going to let those both dry. And I'm going to take the buttons and glaze them just because the pigments tend to dust off. So once they're dry, you're going to just tap off the excess glitter and it should look something like this. So now I'm going to assemble the actual spinner. So I'm just taking this and like a paper clip that I straightened out and I'm just putting all the pieces together. You're going to put one of the thumb hole thing, one of the circles on the back, one on the front. You're going to want to make sure it spins. Like see these spin pretty well when they were like that. So I don't know. Um, now I'm taking my pliers and, or I'm taking a Sharpie, sorry. And I'm just marking off where I'm going to cut with my pliers later on. You want it to fit exactly in the spinner, so this is what it looks like. And I'm taking some glue. Now I think this is where I messed up. Don't glue the whole thing. You're just going to glue the parts that are attached to the top and bottom. I don't think you want to put glue in the middle, just so it's easier to spin. So now this one I realized I messed up, so I tried to troubleshoot. So I filled the center with some cardboard. And then I put a ring, I put some wire in it, but it didn't spin very well. Uh, then I tried to make my own ball bearing with some like rings and some beads. Uh, I don't know. I thought it might work. Um, it kind of worked better than the cardboard, but it still doesn't spin that well. And <laughs> the beads kind of like flung out, so that didn't work. Um, the gold one dried and it didn't spin as well and I think that has something to do with the glue messing up with it, but yeah, I tried. <laughs> Welcome back guys, so, uh, yeah, I made these and like, they don't, they don't spin as well as the actual fidget spinner spins as you can see. Uh, this was the one I made out of a pattern, like I, a template, I guess, a fidget spinner template, and I glued uh, the thing inside, but like, this one does spin a little better than my other one. I mean, you know, you can still play with it, it still spins, it just doesn't like, it's not going to keep spinning as long as the real one with bearings would. Um... And then this one I kind of just failed. I don't think I, this one, I mean, this one doesn't spin as good as the other one. Um, I had a lot of issues with this one because I made a hole in the center, like a big hole. And you're supposed to just make like a little pinhole through the center. Um, but this was the first one I made and it's just kind of a pattern that I drew it myself. But I mean, you know, you could definitely make these with some bearings in the center. And I think they would probably been a lot better. I mean, they're still fun to play with. It's whatever. They kind of work, but I mean, I don't know. I don't think this DIY is actually like, I don't know. I've seen some that people made and they worked, but the, these polymer clay ones that I made, I don't think they work that well. I mean, they spin. So, I mean, I guess they just don't spin as well as the real ones. And I mean, you know, you can always just go buy a real one. They're not that expensive, but I don't know. I don't think, I think I have to give this DIY like a thumbs down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can of course use some parts of this tutorial, kind of troubleshoot to make them, uh, to see if you can uh, make them spin better. Uh, but yeah, of course you can still use the like polymer clay tutorial and just use a ball bearing in the center and that'll make them spin better. Uh, if you guys want to see a tutorial of me actually using some ball bearings, then leave some comments down below and I will try to make one. Um, also, if you guys want to see any other kind of like fidget spinner things, maybe I can try 
other DIYs for them. There's other materials and stuff you can use besides clay, but I thought it would just be fun to use clay because I haven't really seen anybody use clay, but I don't know. They don't spin as well, although it could just be me and I could have just made them wrong. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos. I upload every Wednesday and every Saturday. Sometimes other random videos come up during the week like this one. But yeah, also give this video a like if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, drop a comment down below, share this video, spread the love, you know. Okay, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!